honestly, it was like that grind, going all night, all day, really taking something that you're really passionate about and being able to spend all your time, all your energy, and all your focus on it. Seeing the, I think the journey, more than just to finish, but also that journey was a really good experience. This was my first hackathon in the US and uh, it's been pretty fun. We've gone through a design workshop and then there's a pitch workshop as well. So we're, we're being taken through the entire process of biz building a business, not just the code part of it. What I saw over the last 24, 36 hours was ideas come to life. There's such an opportunity here to meet new people, to get out of your comfort zone, and to come up with something great. And I think the students do a tremendous job of taking advantage of that opportunity. And you see it on Sunday when they present their hacks to the judges. especially with the AI Health Hackathon, there was this intersection of data scientists, medical professionals, people that were deep in their field, as well as students who were just starting their professional careers. And each of them have an opportunity to learn something new. It's the wow moments, the light bulbs that the students had. And that's what gets me up for Monday morning. Weekends are tough to commit to a hackathon, but it's so worth it. Especially in the medical field, a lot of students feel like, well, we're kind of at the beginning or the bottom of a totem pole. This kind of flattens that hierarchy where everyone is on a level playing field and you get the opportunity to challenge all kinds of assumptions, work on projects that you're passionate about, and then work besides mentors who will really respect what you have to say and you also have fun. That's probably the most important thing. Everyone sees things in a different way, like so I, if I have like a solution to something, I may see it in an engineering standpoint, whereas someone else will see it as a medical standpoint, or someone who's doing uh, economics or human policy will see it in a different way, so it's always good to have different viewpoints on a certain topic, because that brings creativity to the table and like allows you to see things in different perspectives. You should do a hackathon because you get to meet really cool and interesting people that uh, otherwise you wouldn't get to meet. Getting a team that comes from all different backgrounds, like to see everyone actually work together towards like one common goal is it's, it's been a great experience. This is a place where a lot of ideas converge and uh, you get a lot of diversity of thought. So yeah, you should come do a hackathon if you want to be challenged. I think people who have been a part of hackathons talk to each other who have been in hackathons. I think we're all kind of drawn to it. It is a community. I think there is like a, a, a bond that you form having gone through it. You should do a hackathon because no matter how old you are and no matter where you're from, you'll, you'll learn something. You will end up leaving knowing something more. You'll definitely learn a lot. Even if you don't want to, you get free food and free swags, which is pretty cool. I think you should do a hackathon because you're going to experience things that you've never experienced before. A hackathon is not the most comfortable place to be, but at the end of the day, innovation comes from doing stuff that's not easy. Innovation comes from stepping outside of your comfort zone, and that's really something that I think everybody should experience if they have the opportunity.